again. on my Land Rover to drive my Land Rover and version 1 lights is still installed in there I'm using this transmitter two-channel HPI thing on this board purely for testing purposes so this is a prototype of what will be in the car eventually there's just two servos connected just so I can see everything's working as it should be got a little microcontroller a little tilt sensor, the radio which transmits back to the screen, 2.4 gig, which I've tested and does not interfere with either this HPI or my Spectrum. Um, and there is the little GPS module that gives us our speed, location, direction, etc. etc. And then here's the screen, which is a 2.8 inch touch screen, uh, which will talk to this and transmit the data back. Here's the stub the back screen. So we've got the engine out there for a minute. Okay. Let's start it two point where are the stuff at the moment? Okay. The fuel gauge is the voltage of the LiPo. At the moment it's just the LiPo on the roof of the Land Rover, but it will be the, the main drive battery once it's all installed. Temperature is temperature, you could have that temperature sensor mounted on the motor or it's just in fresh air at the moment. Uh, and then you've got the rest, you've got a, a little radio lock signal, like a Wi-Fi signal, you've got the GPS lock and the battery for this little screen. The transmitter, as I said earlier on, at the moment it's actually this transmitter it's wired up to, so the throttle actually works from this transmitter, it's not connected to the Land Rover at the moment. And what we'll do is just turn the trim up on this transmitter, so the throttle is above zero, which is what we need for it to all work properly. Drop that down, and we'll just drive the Land Rover with its standard uh, spectrum radio okay so off the land rover goes still getting our little speedo readout okay so there we go back again my land rover manages to hold 4.95 miles an hour not tonight but it does Whilst that's running concurrently, we can stick a little light screen, and this mimics what the transmitter does at the moment. So we can press the main beam when the lights are off, or if the lights are on already, then the main beam will toggle on and stay on. And then we've got indicators, which is just another touch, although they self cancel, and we've got the strobes. and or rotating beacons or strobing beacons so on the strobe when the strobes are on so if the strobes are off you can't do anything on that because you can only have rotating beacons and then that will mimic well there's the headlights so that it will mimic on the main dashboard and there's also a tilt screen which I haven't told it for yet so that it onboards our accelerometer. So we'll stoke down and go to set it. Thank you. 